if y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And what the goddamn hell your league? So, Sunny! Kimmy! What up? <laughs> y'all, they been here with me all day. I hope y'all enjoying this content. This is something new that I'm doing. And, well, hell, them too. So, I hope y'all enjoying it. For the last uh, three days, actually. Facts. Facts. But well, we maybe finally four. putting it all the way, maybe four. But we finally putting it all the way in the perspective. Are y'all enjoying it? Kimmy, you enjoying it? Oh, yeah. Sonny, you Definitely. enjoying it? This is what I wanted to do. I'm just glad that she enjoying it. Facts, facts, facts. Well, let's uh, get to it. Teeth. Okay? It's all right. She's here. Um, T.I. calls Boosie a boy. Boosie reacts. Y'all, this is an 11-minute video. Um, We're going to watch as much as we can because y'all know if it ain't doing nothing, I'm going to just say what I want to say and get up off of this motherfucker. And let's just say one thing before you press play. Okay. We already discussed about Boosie. And if it's a boy, it's a boy. Is that what you're saying? Like a home, a boy. He said he's it say T I calls Boosie a boy. T I I'ma show you. Man, I ain't going for that now. That boy that boy that boy don't play now. Okay. Uh he say Tip says, say, say, boy, you supposed to be up here with at Trap City Cafe checking this paperwork and straightening your face or else you flaw according to the convict law. And Boosie said, I'm going to text you. Exactly. Well, I'm going to go have lunch with a snitch. <laughs> okay. That's the way Boosie looking at it right now. I know. Boosie is not, he is not stunting T.I. And T.I. going to have to let it go right now because he... Boos ain't in the mood. One thing I can say, T.I. did have his best friend killed in my city. And um, he didn't snitch. He didn't tell one word. They said they tried to get him to point a finger at somebody. That I don't friend or shot or bust up. I don't know who we got into it with. I don't know any of that. So why am I here? Then why would he come out and say, basically, I told on my cousin because my cousin said that I could. It, like, he had no reason to do that. I feel like T.I. brought this on himself. It don't even make sense. Some people offer too much information, but we live in a, a time where it's exposure. If people are exposing everybody. So just keep your mouth shut. Yeah. It's, what, they say, what they say, a wise man once said nothing at all. Uh, on God, because in this situation, he did this to himself. It would, this, this is crazy. But let's watch this little video. Let's see what we're working with. A whole lot of big shows. Just to put it on. I'm going to fuck around. Okay. Boosie also spoke about T.I.'s Crime Stoppers video and how it was ultimately a ploy by the feds to discredit T.I. and taint his gangster persona for the rest of his career. Paperwork to show me. I got some paperwork to show them. And if y'all leave them back, leave them back. Leave them know that the paperwork was present. And if they weren't here, they should be seen. I've been waiting on one special invited guest to show up and he ain't showed up yet. But it was somebody who had something to say about me and had to question my, you know, disposition in some of my cases. But he ain't here to see my paperwork. And I get no light for the goddamn get fly, he ain't get shot. You hear me? I'm right here in the cellar. You hear me? So come on, if you got something to say about me. Get if you think it is, down. when it ain't, right but one way to clear it up, pull on up. Let me show you what you're looking for. I want to see who want to see it. You hear me? And if it ain't, if it ain't, if it ain't, if it ain't, and, and then after you see what you need to see, it's on you now. Then go straighten that shit up. Because you, you done got too far in the job. You done got too much drip on your chip. <laughs> With look, Ti, I feel like he's trying to prove a point that he don't need to prove if he know he ain't snitch. I mean, 
Uh, he know Boosie, man. He got a clout. He, Boosie got some clout out there. People listen to Boosie, man. Hell yeah. And and they ain't listen to Ti too much, man. He got too many little yeah, bumps in the road, yeah. man. With the with Heavy. the whole little him and his wife and him and his sons and, and just too much bullshit on the, that's going on. You got to remember now, him and Boosie was about to do an album together. They were just cool. Apparently, they did that album. Boosie said he yeah. ain't releasing it. Exactly. It has to be cleared on both ends or it can't come out. Now, what I'm saying is this ain't like some old beef or some of Boosie just don't like this nigga. He loved this nigga. Stood tall by this nigga. Then he ain't, but he ain't know about that Crime Stoppers, first of all. Yeah. He took up for him about the Crime Stoppers at first. That's what he said. He said, man, that sounds like he just doing something. Ain't nothing, man. So at the end of the day, that, that was enough for me, Crime Stoppers. Right. But I'm a different type of breed of animal. You know what I'm saying? Me and my family, we stand on two. You feel me? What's the crime stop? What happened with that specifically? Man, that same case where he had the guns after his homeboy got killed and he's beefed up his security or whatever. They caught him with all them guns and stuff. Part of his community service was he needed to get out there and he needed to. At first, they wanted to do it in front of the jail and with next to the chief police and all that, but he had to do a, a crime stop of it. Hey, if you've seen crime, you know, don't get involved in it. Call crime stoppers where you can get a paid amount of money. You know, that the whole crime stop thing. That was thing, to you know humiliate him. So he either would have had to do the Crime Stoppers or do what? Longer time? Um. Ah oh, man, I would have had to do that video. <laughs> I'd have had to do that. Time. He wasn't snitching on nobody. He's doing Crime Stoppers. Can't nah, be the king of the crazy. south and the trap. You can't be. You can't be the king of the trap. And and then fall to the trap. Damn. They trap though. Come on, you can't do. Yeah, I, I will laws. say they did that to humiliate him for sure, and it worked it's too. Laws in this thing, you have to abide by these laws. When you take your oath to the street, you got you got to stand on it. Now he's paying; he's a tax paying man, but he's still staying on the laws of the street. See, I tell a motherfucker like this: I'm not no street nigga no more. But right. I call the police on you. Better hope they catch you for I do, cause I still shoot you in the face. Oh God, that's crazy. So it's, you're gonna get both ends from me. We taxpayers over here, so we'll get the nine one one going. But you better hope they catch you if I do. Similar plane. So they, they, but he don't stand on that. I don't deal with no police. I'm, well, you, you're paying them. You might as well. Paying plenty of taxes. That whole Atlanta force is getting paid for your taxes. So you might as well call them. There's nothing wrong with calling the police if you're a taxpaying citizen, okay? Right. Don't let these men, these men fool you. Call police. Cause most of y'all can't handle the smoke coming your way anyway. But nonetheless, these boys stand by something. Boots ain't calling no police. I don't give a fuck how much tax he paid. That nigga ain't calling no police. police. He different. We watched him cuss the police out several times on camera. Oh God! He's. I he's mean, he got a Nevada song. Put some, get some head out. He said, "Not to this man. Let me, man. Come on, get some head. I get some head, man. You ain't had no head, folks. Like this? No, no black he, woman, yet, man. He got a Come on, song man. called Fuck the Police.' That's an anthem. He's a different individual. He said, "Man, how much you make a year? I double that. Come on, work. That nigga smoked the blunt before he took that five year bid right in front of the police. Listen, he rolled is a up real in everything. He knew he's he was like going my he's like my older brother. He's a real one to a fault. Okay, but Ti I don't want that with him, and he know he don't. Yeah, Ti is pushing the issue though. He is. It's like no, you I mean, you gonna have to relax right now. Please take his pride is fucked up though. You know what I'm saying? He feel like he because he thought he, he thought he did something that did, that he could stand on, and he realized it really wasn't understand on. It's a little wobbly. Yeah, that shit crazy. Okay, let's get a little more there. The T.I. situation, if he did that, you're at too. I don't spare nobody. Because if you, if you, if you're doing anything wrong, you doing anything criminal wise, and you cooperate with law enforcement to get you out of trouble, that means you're cooperating. That means you're a rat. All this damn time for 20 something years, you're gonna hold that in and it finally came out. Why why admit to that? He put why it admit to that after? Like, bro. Welcome back once again to the channel, fam. 50 Cent has trolled T.I. over the recently resurfaced Crime Stoppers video. Why you make me do this, nigga? Michael Blackson voice. This is the first song I'ma play so tough, T.O.S. This is the first song I'ma play, You So Tough. He wrote on Twitter. In reference to T.I. challenging him to a versus battle. Oh, damn. When was this? Oh, that's the Crime Stopper shit? Video, oh, that's As well as an crazy. audio clip of G-Unit's 2008 record, You So Tough, which features a verse from 50 Cent that suggests T.I. is an informant. 
Some people call me Till, but this is about another kind of Till that can help our mothers, <laughs> our sisters, our brothers, and our fathers help get the perpetrators who commit crimes against them off the streets. All you oh, gotta do is call Crime Stoppers no. Atlanta. Tips can be anonymous, and there's even a reward. The number of the Crime Stoppers Atlanta is 404 577 8477. Tips. That's 404 577 Tips. Channel 2, community coverage, you can count on. No. No, 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 no. Hold on. I'll take this as an acceptance of this catalog challenge. Yes, yeah, Sersky versus the rest of us be Timberland. We got him. He bit the bait. Set the shit up so I could finally shut the. Oh, this was by 50 Cent. Well, we ain't got to go into it with 50 Cent and all that. I just wanted to talk about Boosie. Yeah, he, he going to the beef with 50 Cent. Anyway, um, I feel like T.I. put his foot in his mouth on this one. Especially if he did this. So this Crime Stopper shit, I didn't know nothing about that. He looked crazy as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Crime Stoppers called 1-800. That was when he was jumping too. Oh man! But you think they paid him out? When I'm seared, they, they ain't paying. They ain't out. pay him shit. Dude, I know caught, they ain't pay. He for got that. caught with guns. He got caught with about fifty guns, forty guns. And while he that was, that was so he didn't go guns. to prison because he had just picked him up. He didn't even drive off. He picked him up. They surrounded the car, and he was in the car with the dude he just bought the guns from. And there it was. So then some... he went to his house and found more guns. So somebody snitched on him. They was watching the P. They was watching him. They was watching the dude he bought him from. They ain't nobody snitch on him. They was just watching him. They, they, that was the time to pull up. Yeah, if you putting 50 guns in a car, I guess somebody will see that shit. Yeah, That's man. crazy. Uh, I, I, I'm just going to say he played himself two times. It, definitely. With this. And he might want to leave Boosie the hell alone for he has somebody mm -hmm. at his house. He <laughs> might need to go lay up with that little booger head looking woman he got here. <laughs> And, and chill out for a while. You know what I'm saying? Oh, somebody, please. Book ahead, though. No. You got plenty of money. I mean, she got her eyes all changed up, and she look crazy as hell. I don't know who look more crazy or look him. We ain't going to get into that. And we definitely anyway. not get into that. Y'all, give me but the hell off this video. Check his, check his <laughs> dough. Check his dough. Yeah. He need to go sit his ass down somewhere. He's not relevant anymore. He's trying to remain relevant like some of the other people who remain relevant, but that's because they stayed solid all this time. Maybe. They never they never did no flawed shit to not be relevant. Lil Boosie's never been flawed in any type of way, shape, or form. Period. All the thing we was there worried about was he's never going to get out again. That's, that's it. a fact. That's a fact. And he came home. You and know what I'm saying? We never thought about him snitching. And Gucci can't. either. We never had to worry about Gucci. No. We talking about niggas that did time. Let's talk about let's talk about Pooh Shiesty. Let's talk about goddamn um who uh, a hot nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like these niggas who did this nigga did nine years. He came home, he ain't said a word. We talking about niggas who took time. Let's talk about Casanova from up in New York. Just took how many years? A lot. Kept I don't his even mouth know shut. How many years he got, but that's crazy. He took a ton, he took a ton of years. These niggas ain't talking about nothing. They talking about eat my dick, eat my dick. I ain't telling y'all nothing. That's the that's what you do. That's I hate it. My brother just took 150 years because he ain't want to point the finger. 150 years, am I wrong? 150 years, my brother, my real brother took 150 years because he ain't want to, he ain't want to point the finger back. I said, bro, ain't nobody gonna think you was no stitch. He pointed his finger at you. Point it back. You come home. He said, bro, just because he snitched on me, don't give you the right to snitch back. That still make you a rat. I never come home. A rat. But if a nigga would have shot at him, he would have shot back. Ah, oh, just that's, that's crazy. You feel me? So it is what it is. It, and I'm just saying, and I and I honor people. I, 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 it's, it's real honorable a man who stands on shit wholeheartedly. What I stand on, you know, I, I don't budge either. So I understand that. I just think T. I just need to sit back, let this thing die down, and just come back as a more humble man and stop being so. And you know, you using all these big words. The niggas who you trying to impress anyway don't understand you anyway. At so just all. sit down somewhere. I have time. I don't know what the fuck you be talking about. Protruciating uh, uh, amongst these circumstances, which indubitably, uh, come on, man, sit your ass down somewhere, Siri. Indubitably, indubitably, <laughs> expeditiously, man. All right, y'all. Well, Ti ain't gonna sit down. He, I hope him and Boosie just. I hope they just, you know, put this down because Boosie, he ain't, he ain't mad yet. But when he get mad, it's gonna be a motherfucking problem. But um. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Let me know if y'all want more, want to see more of Kimmy and Sonny. You dig what I'm saying? Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah. Like you.